In this video, I'm going to explain the moving average inventory costing method. Now, by moving average, we mean that the cost of any item in our stock equals to the total value of stock of this item divided by the total number of units we have of the same item. So, for example, let's assume that we are a company that only buys and sells chairs. And currently, we only have one product, which is chair X, for example. Now, on the 1st of January, we have zero stock. So the stock value is zero and the stock quantity is also zero. Now today we are going to buy 10 shares and the price is 10 USD per share. So the total stock value is going to change to 100 USD and the total stock quantity is 10 shares. So the moving average cost equals 100 divided by 10, which is 10 USD per share. Now let's assume that on 15th of January, we do another purchase. This time we are going to buy another 10 shares, but the price is going to be 20 USD per share. So now the total inventory cost is going to change from 100 USD to 300 USD. And the total quantity is going to be 20 shares. So if you divide 300 by 20, now the moving average cost is 15 USD per share. So now you understand that the moving average cost changes when we do any goods received to the system. Now let's assume that on 20th of January, we sold 10 shares. So the total value of stock is going to decrease by 10 multiplied by 15 USD, which is our moving average on 20th of January, so 150 USD. So as you see, the selling transaction has no impact on our moving average cost. So there are also other exceptions that I'm going to explain in a different video, but for now, these are the basics of moving average costing.